Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Pisces, I want to give you guys a very quick update. Um, on Friday, May 21st, 2021, we're going to be releasing our Pendulum gift set. Uh, these are 50. We did a limited amount because you guys know I like to do everything very personal. We ritualized, consecrated through ceremonial magic these pendulums that have been specific, specifically prepared for you to communicate with your spirit guides or your ancestors, okay? If you know what a pendulum is, great. If you don't, this is not for you. So if you're interested, definitely check that out on our online store Friday, May 21st. Like I said, first come, first served. Um, it is only a limited amount that we did, 50, like I said. You guys can see them here. Some of the gift, set, uh, gift sets are going to be coming with necklaces. Others are going to be coming with rings. Um, and they all come with vials that are uh, with stones and herbs for specific, specifically for protection and to have clear uh, open communication. Okay. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. I don't know why I keep struggling to get my words out. <laughs> Pisces, you may be feeling a bit overwhelmed or feeling like you can't really communicate or express what you're feeling. It's just something that I'm feeling right now, and I was definitely not sensing that when I was doing the other reading. So let's get into your reading, Pisces. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Now, your first card here is the Seven of Wands and the Fool card. You may be feeling like you're having to stand your ground Having to put your foot down in regards to situation, Pisces. You may be dealing with Aries energy here. Okay. Your next card here is the Five of Swords, Ten of Cups, the Devil card, and the King, or sorry, the Queen of Wands. Okay. So, I feel that for the month of May... You guys are going to be put in a situation where you have to put your foot down, Pisces. And when I say you have to, I literally mean you have to put your foot down. The full card can represent Aries energy, but it can also represent playing naive or playing, playing the part of being innocent, even though you know. So it's um, okay. So I'm getting different messages for some of you guys. This could be a situation in regards to your partner where you feel like you they're hiding something from you. They're not being completely honest or they're taking advantage of the innocence. Um, how blindly you become sometimes to love. So there's going to be a need for you to put your foot down and it is not only for the benefit of the relationship i feel that this is more to do with you and your character pisces um and the reason i say that is we have the five of swords here so this is about constantly arguing or constantly um bickering with your partner and they may make you seem like you're the crazy one or they're making you feel like you're crazy for speaking your mind or you're crazy for feeling the way they make you feel, but they're very aware of what they're doing because we have the devil card here and this is toxic energy with the five of swords. It's a person that is extremely um, violent in the sense of how they communicate. They have a tendency to manipulate people. Uh, this is an energy of almost like making you feel like you're the fool for expressing how they're making you feel, but they know and understand, ego-based, that they are making you feel like shit. They just don't want to take self-responsibility for that. So it's almost like what they're telling you is stop sweeping things under the rug, Pisces, when it comes to your relationship. Stop making it seem like everything is perfect when it's not. For some of you guys, this could even be like, there is a toxic behavior in this relationship. For some of you guys, it could be that you kind of seclude yourself when you're in a relationship or when you're in a partnership. Um, 
And when I say seclude, it's like you allow your partner to become your whole life and everything revolves around them. The moment you start having issues or problems, it's like you don't know where to go because you can't really rely on anyone because you've kind of pushed everyone away. Do you see what I'm saying? So this is a toxic cycle that you have a tendency of doing and they're telling you you need to stop doing that because it's like you're kind of pushing people away from you, making you feel lonely, right? And everything is fine and dandy when you're good in the relationship. But when things start to go sour, it's like you feel like you can't really express yourself because the only one person you can express to is your partner and they're making you feel like you have no reason to feel that way. Um, Queen of Wands can also represent fire energy. So you may be dealing with a Capricorn. You may be dealing with an Aries. You may be dealing with a fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aries individual. Um, but I feel very strongly with the Queen of Wands. It's like there is a toxic pattern that you keep allowing in your partners or in the people that you choose to partner with and the full card is a representation of you've gained enough experience to know when the red flags show up so it's like you're not paying attention to the red flags basically um and what they're telling you here is you can't rush your happiness pisces you can't rush into um a healthy, loving relationship if you haven't put in the work on yourself. Now, for others of you, it could be almost like a feeling of while people may have judged this partnership or this connection or the person that you're interested in, you were like, oh, it's us against the world. Now you're starting to see that this person has a lot of toxic behavior. And with the five of wands, it's like, it's the need to have the upper hand all the time. And that's the partner or person that you're dealing with. And the Ten of Cups is the desire to manifest that happily ever after. But with the Devil card, you're not like you're not paying attention to the signs. You're not paying attention to the toxic traits of this person. And for some of you guys, you may even have a tendency of overlooking or forgiving that Um because there is some type of lack of self-esteem here with the queen of wands. Now, I'm going to tell you, if you guys are dealing with a situation where you just met the person, like pay attention to the red flags, you guys, because this is a person that is extremely passionate, extremely intense, maybe an issue in regards to commitment. Um, you know, as an example, if the person is 45 and they've been single for like for a while it's kind of time for you to wonder or ask like why are they single do you see what i'm saying like um because this person could have a tendency of just loving to be with different lovers or uh they really vibrate to very low frequency so i feel that there's some type of possess possession or possessiveness jealousy uh, this could be something that they're bringing to you, like making it like they constantly make you feel like they're being jealous or like they're judging you or making you feel like you're not trusting or you're not trusting. Wait, is it trusting? Yeah, you're not trusting enough. Um, but in reality, it's just a reflection of the shit they're doing behind your back. So if they're constantly judging you for cheating, if they're constantly judging you for, um, you're crazy, like you're overthinking or you're seeing things that are not there, kind of making you feel like you don't have the right to feel the way you do. This is just a cop out. They're just telling you or making you feel this way so that they can feel like they're in control of the situation. Look past that bullshit, Pisces. See, this is the card that popped out. And these are the cards that represent your partner. Seven of Swords. There is lies. They're not being completely honest. They're not being completely transparent. They're hiding certain things from you. Four of Pentacles, very protective. This is a person that is emotionally unavailable. Seven of Pentacles here. Um, they may be dealing with the past. Here's a FYI. If you're dealing with a partner that constantly is dealing with an ex, baby mama, baby father, 
or someone from their past and they always have an excuse of why they're around them or dealing with them, they're lying to you. Because again, we're getting the seven of wands here. And seven of wands is the need to put or draw the line on the ground. Time for you to stand up for yourself. Time to put your foot down and know or make people uh, respect you, whether they want to or not. So again, uh, this person is dealing with the past. Uh, seven of cups, confusion, illusion, not knowing what it is that they want. This can also speak about you know, having a lot of options. This is a person that's not being honest or transparent with you, Pisces. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. If this resonates more with you, it, it could potentially be your energy, Pisces. It is a general reading, like I said. But what they're showing me here with the death card, there is an ending cycle. There is a need to end this toxic energy or this toxic behavior, and they're refusing... Um, you know what I'm hearing? The victim mentality. So this could be a person that is a shitty person and they use that as an excuse because they've been hurt in the past. So if you're dealing with that type of energy, Pisces, show them the fucking door. You are too loving. You are too giving to give yourself or put yourself in a situation where a person is constantly making you feel like you're crazy or like you're not enough when they're the ones that are doing sneaky shit behind your back. All right, my lovelies. I hope that this gives you some type of insight, some type of understanding. I wish you guys the very best, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.